So it's late 2024 and both the Sony 1000XM5s and Sony 1000XM4s are my top picks if active noise cancellation is very important to you. Specifically, if you plan on flying a lot with your headphones, because thanks to the atmospheric pressure sensors in these headphones, both the 1000XM5s and 1000XM4s block out way more noise than the other ANC headphones while at cruising altitude. Both the 1000XM5s and 1000XM4s block out noticeably more noise while flying than either the Bose QC Ultra, Bose QC, Sennheiser Momentum 4s, AirPod Max, Sonos Ace, and so on. And you can actually watch those videos right there. However, both the Sony 1000XM5s and Sony 1000XM4s have gotten new firmware updates recently, and the Sony 1000XM6s have been leaked, and now people are saying that they are noticing degraded performance on both their 1000XM5s and 1000XM4s after updating them. And this wouldn't be the first time that this happens, because other companies Bose have been caught doing a similar thing in the past to make their new headphones look good. Now, if you want to pick either of these two headphones up, they'll be linked down below, or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. And if you want to further support the channel, you can always pick up some merch. This here is the Versus hat, and this here is the Versus hoodie. And the Versus hoodie is actually my favorite because it's very soft and it's very warm. So today we're going to be measuring the ANC performance on both the 1000XM5s and 1000XM4s before and after being updated and these headphones have been calibrated specifically the XM4s because you have to manually calibrate these and I will say that I did notice a performance difference with both of these headphones. Now, these ANC tests were done in a controlled environment, calibrated microphones, and these headphones are blocking out the same audio samples. Now, before being updated, the Sony 1000XM4s were running their 2.5.0 firmware, and afterwards, they've been updated to the current 2.6.0 firmware. And the Sony 1000XM5s were running firmware 2.1.0, and afterwards, they've been updated to firmware 2.3.1. So first, we're going to go ahead and jump into the ANC test for the 1000XM4s. So with the Sony 1000XM4s, when it comes to blocking out road noise or low frequency sounds, I feel that, that performance here is identical. And in general, constant low frequency sounds should be super easy to block out for any pair of decent premium ANC headphones. But what separates good ANC headphones from great ANC headphones is how they manage to block out random higher frequency sounds, aka chatter. And I actually feel that the 1000XM4s are doing a slightly better job of blocking out chatter when being updated, which is good because chatter is something the XM4s struggled with compared to the XM3s. But overall, I feel that the performance difference on the XM4s isn't super noticeable post update, but technically, they are doing a slightly better job. But then there are the Sony 1000XM5s and I feel that the performance difference here is more noticeable and I feel that it is a bit of a mixed bag, but we're going to go ahead and jump into the ANC test.
So with the XM5s, I think that there is a more noticeable performance difference here before and after the update. When it comes to blocking out road noise, I feel that the XM5s aren't doing as good of a job with the new firmware update because they are sounding a little more high pitched when blocking out that road noise. However, when it comes to blocking out chatter, the XM5s are doing a better job of reducing that higher frequency spike. So in short, the XM5s are blocking out a little less road noise, but they are doing a better job of dealing with chatter. But regardless, the XM5s are still blocking out a lot of road noise when compared to other ANC headphones. So with the XM5s, I wouldn't say that their ANC performance has been degraded, but I would say that a compromise has been made here. They block out a little less road noise, but they block block out a little more chatter. And now we're going to go ahead and jump into the ANC test between the XM5s and XM4s, both running their latest firmware updates. So like we have just seen, as expected, the 1000 XM5s block out more noise than the 1000 XM4s. It's the natural order of things. And as of late 2024, both the XM5s and XM4s are my topics if ANC is super important to you because they block out the most amount of noise with minimal cabin pressure. And cabin pressure hasn't been changed on these headphones after their updates, which is good. But what really makes these headphones special are their atmospheric pressure sensors, which will adjust the ANC see on these headphones to perform better while flying. So both the XM5s and XM4s are going to block out way more noise than other headphones from Bose, Apple, Sonos, and so on. But then there's the question of the Sony 1000 XM6s. Yes, they have been leaked, but personally, I wouldn't expect them until spring 2025. So if you're looking for a pair of ANC headphones and you want a solid deal, I think that it would be safe to pick up either the XM5s or XM4s right now in late 2024. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular. So I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.